What's up everybody? Kawaii Arcade Masters are here. It's been a long time guys. I know, I'm so sorry. It's been a... It's been a crazy quarantine. It's been crazy busy, crazy hectic. It's just been crazy. It's been real crazy. And you may have seen our new video, We Can Go Grocery Shopping Out in Japan Off Base, which was released on Monday, June 8th, that we were able to go out. And I know the video was posted on June 12th and there was a reason and I was supposed to get to that reason but the reason is stuck on my phone and I can't get it onto my computer. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get that video up and out as soon as possible. Oh, okay, so what am I doing right now? I'm gonna be heating up some pizza. My family wanted to get some pizza outside and I'm all, that's fine, but you know how I am with germs and being paranoid about you know the virus being out there and someone breathing I know people are wearing masks and stuff like that but you know it's me I'm you know I, I gotta I gotta go up the extra mile do that extra step you you know me so I set my oven at 400 degrees I have my cookie sheet lined with foil that one I'm gonna say for pizza I'm gonna get a smaller tray for the chicken wings you guys want to see the chicken wings they take the box I love it. Before they didn't do that and my chicken wings would pop out. These look a little smaller than usual. That's okay. I mean, I, I mean they had some big, like, size of like this. <laughs> but it's okay. We got some buffalo wings. Not all of us eat the same pizza. Oh, that's a Hawaiian. That's Makaya's. Yes, that whole pizza pie is for Makaya. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Cheesy breadsticks. That's for all of us. It's like an appetizer. Meat lovers! I don't know, for some reason the girls and I were feeling like a meat lovers kind of day. I like a little bit more of a crispy texture. The dough is really yummy and doughy. So, you know, putting it in for an extra 10 minutes gives a little bit more crispness, a little bit more firmness. I like it better. Go wash my hands. Hands are all nice and clean. So we're gonna put some slices of pizza and some cheese sticks on this big cookie sheet. One slice for Michaela, one slice for Sophie, one slice for me. Oh my gosh. You ever go to those pizza places and they don't cut all the way through when they're making the slices? Yep. Two slices for Micaiah because I can't disconnect them. They're stuck together. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Oh yeah. And now we wait for 10 minutes. Ooh, I gotta get the tray ready for the chicken wings and the cheese sticks. A lot of friends say that their areas are opening up, stores are opening up, they can go out now. Please be careful. Just because we can go out now doesn't mean COVID is gone, so they keep reminding us, wear your mask, have hand sanitizer, social distancing. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. I know, I know, even for me, that's really hard. It's summertime. We want to go out. We don't want to be cooped up indoors anymore. You know, three months, that's hard. Woo. Okay, dump the chicken wings. Yum. If it's for our safety, I get it. I get it. But even when we're going out, you know, we're seeing people who are not wearing their masks properly. So it's like, if you're not going to wear it properly, why are you wearing it? It's the rule to have the mask in certain stores in Japan. But I mean, I've been seeing a lot of Japanese people wearing masks. Very rarely do I not see anyone wearing a mask out in Japan. And that's also part of their culture too. I mean, even before COVID, you know, in Japan and most Asian countries really, you would see people wearing masks if they have allergies or if they are coming down with a little, you know, sniffles or cough, they would wear a mask to be polite, to show some respect, show some courtesy to their neighbors when they're walking around. So wearing a mask out in public, I'm used to it. Been used to it since we moved here. Cheese sticks and chicken. Alexa, set second timer for 10 minutes. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting now. I know friends are being like, Nancy, why are you heating up that pizza? You don't need to heat the pizza. It's just a precaution, just for me. And I like my pizza to be a little bit more crispy. This is not crispy, it's flimsy. <laughs> and by the time we brought it home, it got a little cold. So heating it up for 10 minutes at 400 degrees, you know, 
killing germs, reheating pizza, making it crispy. A lot of pros, a lot of pros. That means a lot of good things. Where are our drinks? We got drinks from the store because we have nothing really cold in the fridge. We forgot to stock up the fridge with our drinks. Aha, got the drinks. Okay. Yeah, you guys, so a lot of friends have been warning me saying, Nancy, there's a second wave coming of COVID-19. You know, people are excited to go back out again, go shopping, eat. We can't eat in a restaurant. We can't do that, but we can get food to go. We can get takeout. But, you know, if people let down their guard, if they forget to wear their masks, if they forget to wash their hands, if they touch their eyes, nose, or mouth with dirty hands, they have a high chance of getting sick. Not just with COVID, but just getting sick. So, a lot of my friends are like saying, Nancy, you know, make sure you guys have enough masks, you have enough wet ones, Lysol wipes, Lysol spray. And trust me, now that we're able to get off base to get some goodies, we're stocking up. We're not hoarding, we're stocking up. It's even recommended that we get enough supplies to last us for a month. Of course you can't have fresh fruits or vegetables to last a month in your refrigerator. It'll spoil. But you know, we try to do the best that we can. What am I doing right now? I'm wiping our, our drinks. We got these from outside. I got my wet ones. I have one in each hand and I wipe them down. That's what we've been doing since COVID buying a few more masks. Even though we have our reusable masks, I like to get these because they have extra filters. This one, it says it's made in Japan, prevents virus droplets, bacteria, and pollen. It's expensive. This was, I believe, a little under $20. I think it was like $19.39. Yeah, it says 10 sheets made in Japan. So, gotta make sure we have our masks. You wanna see some of the stuff that we bought outside? Family has been asking for us to buy them candies and goodies and please send them because they miss the Japanese stuff, you know? It's cool. And they have seasonal stuff. Oh my gosh, the candy that they have in season now. Asian pear gummies. This is a yummy candy like, um, what's the equivalent to this? It's like Starburst with the coating on the outside. It's chewy, it's delicious. I really wanted to get this because I like the candy, but mainly because it's Demon Slayer. <laughs> it's so cute. Hmm, this one looks really interesting. This one is lychee basil tomato. Is that right? Lychee basil tomato? I think. I'm going off the pictures right there. Looks like tomatoes, lychees, and basil. I know tomato and basil is pretty good. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Pineapple gummies! You don't see many pineapple gummies. And it has Tokyo 2020 official gummy on there. I think this is like a tropical punch one. Ooh! Alexa, stop. Okay, I'll get the pizza out real quick, but let me say this one. I think this is a tropical punch. It has apple, kiwi, pineapple gummy. So, ooh. 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 Oh, yes. Yum. Much, much better. Okay. So I'll let that cool down a little bit before I serve it to the family. And I'll, you wanna see some more stuff? I need to get two new wipes, because I use those. These two are done, I need to get two new ones. I love Coco's Curry, but <laughs> I love this one more. Go-Go Curry. Coco Curry, yummy. But I don't know, something about this curry, it's good. It's really good. This is the curry we had on New Year's Eve. Yeah, so this is good stuff. And the fact that we can't go out and sit down at restaurants, I love that we can take that home and make it at home. Demon Slayer candy. And th they have so many different tins with like your favorite characters on it. I got one of every character. But this one's Tanjiro and Nezuko. This one's for Michaela because it has Inosuke on it, her favorite character. But Zenitsu is also on it, so that's cool. I don't even know what kind of candy is inside. Let me check. These are ours. Friends have been asking me to send them chocolates and gummy candy. I'm like, guys, it is hot now. It's summertime. These are gonna melt. Ooh, ooh, okay. So that's the tin. It's cute, I'm gonna save this tin. Ooh, I could probably put like my pens, my, my Demon Slayer pens in there. That's an idea. All right, how many candies come in this tin? The tin is about $5. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six candies. 
The ghost knocked down my rice. The ghost got mad. We kicked him out of the bathroom, so he's in the kitchen now. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six candies in here. Ooh! Alexa, stop! All right, let me give these drinks to the family real quick. Make some room for the tray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Back to the candy. Let's try this. You see how they have some... Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, not anymore. So they have cute characters on here. All right, let's taste them. I wonder if they taste different flavors, same flavor. A, gu a gummy cola Demon Slayer pack came out, and that looks good. Got some of those. Ooh, it's like a lightsaber. Mmm, that's great. I wonder what flavor this is. Oh, that's grape too. Are these all grape? We'll open one more. Mmm. Oh, that's yummy. If you like hard candies, this is a nice, nice flavor. Not too sweet. You know how some candies taste like um, cough syrup or Dimetap? This one's not that bad. Not that bad. Got the grape flavor, not overwhelming. Okay. I like these. Cool. Honestly, I just wanted it for the tin. Okay, guys, I'm going to plate this for the family. We're going to go watch a movie, have some pizza, and hopefully I will get that video up explaining what happened the rest of the week. I hope it will go up. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe. Turn on that post bell notification. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.